Hey, Lou, guess what we're going to do? I don't know. What do you think? We're going to tie-dye some shirts. We have to get everything ready. The, the tie-dye kit with the water. Uh, things that buckets we're going to do it in. The plastic on the outdoor table has to be outside. And did you see the cat that went by? They're going to help us too, maybe. Let's get this show on the road. You want to put on some gloves so you don't get the dye all over your hands. We have a bucket with all the dye colors, with a lot of color here. We have a sheet with instructions to show all different kinds of tie dye you can make. We have water to mix the dyes. These are some rollers to do the shibori technique where you can roll the shirts around. Got a big pile of rubber bands to tie these things up. These are to make circles around the folded up shirts in case you want to put the ice on top for the ice technique. We have a stapler, twine, and then scissors so that we can use the twine to wrap around once these are crumpled on here. We have two buckets, so with uh, like cookie and coolie racks on top because you put the dye things on top, the dye goes down to the bottom, catches in here. Oh, much less messy. Do we have any shirts? We have a lot of shirts. We have Don't hold them up, just, yep, got them. We have plain white tees, whole pile of them, big ones, smaller ones. We have bandanas, so a lot of stuff ready to go. Okay, we're going to start, right? We're going to start now. Ellen has hers about done, wrapped around. And we twined it fairly tight. Ready to go. And Mike, <laughs> Grandpa Mike, we had a bar. blew his roller to shreds. So we need a whole new roller. We're trying to, try. to number two. Trying to tighten it on the roller. I smashed the roller. Oh, so it has roller. to be loose-ish on the roller right. because then you have to squish it down. Okay? So Ellen can find me another roller, please. You may have this. You may have oh, this. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay, okay. All right. Look, hers is pretty good. See? Pretty good. Aha. Okay. What is it you're making? A spiral? Uh, for the ice. An ice spiral. Uh, we're gonna try it. Grandpa Mike's crumple is already over there getting ready for rubber banding. And Grandma Ellen is is spiraling, getting ready for ice. And look, our shibumis, what are they called? Shaburis are all done. Yay. We're going to make all of the patterns, all of these shirts, then we're going to tie dye at the end, okay? Put the dye on, yeah, after okay. they're all ready to go. We're making good progress here in making all the shapes, not the tie dyeing yet. You can see that we've got uh, shirts lined up and wrapped up in around tubes and in big hunks and all marked what they're going to be just about done here and we have just a little bit left and guess what we ran out of rubber bands go ahead you got some hey we got some more rubber bands so we should be finishing up soon and then ready to apply the tie-dye say hello hello and turn that around so you can see grandpa mike's fabulous apron Ha-ha! Great picture. Grandpa Mike with apron. Yeah! Okay, that's it. Our supervisor got tired of watching, so left. Alright, here's something we learned the hard way when you're putting water in the tubes of dye. You only fill it up uh, like halfway and then you shake it so that the dye dissolves into the water. If you don't have the lid on really tight or you make any mistakes, bleh, it's everywhere. Uh, Ellen did that. I, I didn't do that. Ellen made that mistake. My fault. I don't think I screwed the cap on tight enough all the way. Okay, test. Doesn't look like it's leaking. Shake, 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 shake. And? This one's good. All right. Now we got to fill her up. There we go. Put that back on. Really 
be tight. Another shake. Add it to the pile. Smile for the camera. Okay, more. More. Next, baby blue. It's me. Sorry, but we have no video of Ellen and I actually applying dye to our creations. That's for two reasons. One, our hands were just covered with purple and red and green dye, even though we were wearing gloves, and we didn't want to get that on the camera. And B, Ellen forgot. Okay, maybe she didn't, maybe I forgot. Hope you enjoy the rest of this. Okay, we're back. We have dyed almost everything. Right now, Ellen is doing the ice one. She has a shirt under there. It's full of ice cubes, and she's putting dye on it so that it slowly seep down through. As the ice melts with the dye in it, it's going to go yeah, down, on down through. Shirt. But we just thought we would show you. We've used every tube. <laughs> Ellen's side, back away from the table, is, is very neat, clean. She's fine. Grandpa's side, oh my God, the table's crammed up. The floor is plopped up. His feet are plopped up. He had a good time. These were Grandpa's <laughs> written instructions for what, anyway, this way, for what he wanted to do. They can't read that anymore. And there's Grandpa's tray with his last thing on it that he's doing. Um, we used some paper towels. Yes, we did. A, a lot of paper towels. And, and, other than the last two things we have that are on my uh, bucket and Ellen's ice, we have Ellen's chair of uh, things that are done. We just need now to wait six or seven or eight hours and then wash them out. And Grandpa's chair of six or s things waiting for six or seven or eight hours for them to... Uh, for them to for the for the dye to set and then we wash those okay notice one person did their dyeing on top of the plastic that we put down on the table and one person did their dyeing on, on the, the table off yes of the plastic. off the table there it goes we're not saying who did which but uh, you can guess there we can guess and uh but well, this was fun this was a lot of fun that's right and especially when we started running out of dyes so the plan that said, well, I want this one to be orange, kind of went out the window. Out the window. Yes, it did. So here we have everything, except, of course, the ice which isn't melted yet. But these are the others that we already have done. We've Ellen has put them in plastic bags uh, or plastic wrap. We're going to leave them this way, probably in the house someplace, until tomorrow morning. Then unwrap them, uh, pull the rubber bands off, shake them out, and uh, uh, wash them. Not in the washing machine, but just uh, in water to wash any excess dye. Then I think then I think we wash them again, don't we? Do we wash them again? Yes. Then we wash them again in the washing machine. <clears throat> and then we wear them. Yay! By the way, how's the ice doing here? Uh, it's better. Very slowly. Okay. Say hello, dear. Hello. Okay. So, what's on your hands? Uh, oh, yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, yes, you did. Uh, yeah. All right, so this this will be great. So it looks like mushrooms grow down there, doesn't it? I can't wait to see how that one comes out. Woohoo! There we are. Standard cleanup duties. We made a big mess. Now we're cleaning it up. We have one last one waiting with the ice. Everything else is done. Then we're gonna put them in plastic bags Leave them till tomorrow. Then you can rinse out all the extra dye, wash them, see what happens. Uh oh, we have a new supervisor. That's DJ.
Well, would you look at that? All of our supervisors have come. Well, most of our supervisors have come back. How、oh, nice! What are we doing now? Oh, we're rinsing them out after having them sit all night. We're we're rinsing them out the next morning and trying to get the dye. That look that looked pretty good. Is that the other one? In this bucket, yeah. Let me see it. Oh, that's nice. All right. What is that's the? What you call that? Starburst, sunburst. Sunburst. There, that's great looking. Okay. That was really cool. Okay, put it away or do whatever you do with it. Is it all juiced out? No. Out. This takes about 20 rinses of each item. Here we go. So here we are looking at them, and they're all rinsed out, lying on plastic bags on the floor in the kitchen. We did this in the kitchen sink. Might not be the best idea, but hey, we did it. And we're trying to keep them apart so that if there's any、uh, liquid or dye left in them, they're not going to bleed onto each other. And now that we're at this stage, we're done with that. We're going to put them in the washing machine and wash them again, and then、uh, we'll be able to wear them. Won't that be nice? Look at that bright yellow. Woo! This is the result of our tie dyeing. This is my first shirt, or at least the shirt I like best. This is called what is this called? Starburst. Starburst. It's got little things on it, and here's one of the thingies we made that I can put as this. Well, who knows? What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Aha. Okay, this is my favorite one. I think the spiral. This is called a spiral. I think it came out really nice. Pretty design spiral. They're a bit big and long. Is that okay? We use them as night shirts, sleeping. Ooh, bandana number two was really pretty. You can use these as well. Aha! Here is my second favorite. Notice my big bow on it with the black. And it looks nice on the back too. How about that? Pretty good. My second favorite. This one is called. What is this one called? Double spiral. Double spiral. Because there's a spiral here, and、uh, on top. I don't know where this on one of these two tops. Okay. My second one. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this was one of the shibori, one of the ones that was rolled around the、um, cardboard tube. You can see it's kind of not too much dye got in the middle, but it got on the edges. But it makes an interesting pattern. I like this one a lot. I wish I had used a little more dye. Something to keep in mind. If you think you put on enough dye, <laughs> you didn't. Add some more. Well, look how far I made it. This is my third favorite. It's nice and bright, very bright.、The、yellow came out well, but since we didn't, or I didn't, quite mix the red tint with the water enough, I got some speckles on this one. So you have to really mix the tint when you when you put it in the bottles and you shake them. You really have to mix that.、But、this is pretty good, isn't it? Can I have a? Let me have a one of those things. And another one. This here's another one of our that was total scrunch thingies. It's just a scrunch pattern. Just a scrunch and、color. you could even do this with it. Oh, I'm so hot! What do you think of that? <laughs> My turn. So this one came out to be vertically striped, and this was some.、Um, Folding it back and forth like an accordion, and then putting rubber bands the whole way along 
and then put a different color dye on each section. When you take it out, they're up and down stripes. So, a little too much yellow for me, but a kind of neat pattern came out well too. Ooh, here's the next bandana. Kind of came out like a bull's eye. We just it in the middle, put some rubber bands on it, and um, that's interesting too. You know, this can be like scarves or kerchiefs. You can use this in all different ways, so kind of some fun. Oh, wait, you're not there. Oh, you're on the other side. <laughs> this one is my pretty, it's okay, but it was supposed to be brilliant orange all over with these orangey things everywhere. But I didn't put enough dye. So what that means to me is when you go to put dye on them and they're all wrapped up, you really have to soak that dye in. We were afraid we would use up the dye. Well, we did use up the dye. You really have to soak the dye in. We did 10 shirts and used up everything. Don't do 10 shirts, that's too many. Well, but I still think this is okay. Shirts. All right, ready, set, next. My turn again. So this was a scrunch pattern where you just take the whole shirt and you just wrinkle it up like a whole big ball, squish it as much as you can, you tie it with rubber bands, and then you just squirt the colors on it. When you put the rubber bands on, you make them look like a pizza. So it's kind of like triangles, and you can squirt a different color in each one, and you turn it over and do the back, and it came out like this. I like the colors, but apparently we <laughs> got some little drips of purple and other colors on here by accident. So this is what happens. You do it, you learn. This, this is my last one that I did. I like it the least, but it's very colorful. That was your shibori. Very colorful. It's a it's a saburi, saburi, which means wrapped it around a tube and then squished it down. And Not this, quite enough dye, so the this, white. It's another one of these that came out very well. Not enough dye, and still some of the speckles from the not quite mixed up uh, uh, tint enough in the things. What do you think, huh? Okay, last. Last, this is a really big one. And this was the ice dyeing technique where you make a spiral, scrunch the shirt up, you put a cardboard circle around it. You put ice on top of the whole circle and the circle folds it in. And you squirt the dye on top of the ice, and as the ice melts, the dye drips down on. Came out with a really nice pattern. Unfortunately, you can see it's very pale color and very washed out, so maybe we didn't quite use enough dye. It's a nice big one for a nightshirt, a sleeper, so hey, we'll use it anyway. Ah, and the last bandana to end the show. See ya. What'd you think? Pretty good? I like this one. Best one. What did we learn? One, mix the dye. Really well. You have well. to mix it. Second, drench. The, you got to have them tight, but drench them in the dye, or it doesn't go all the way through. Third, the hardest part is wringing them out after they're done the next oh. morning. It's hard on your hands. There's dye that just keeps in the water. You have to keep the water moving all the time. Like fill up the bucket, squeeze it, dump it out. Fill up the bucket, squeeze it, dump it out. This is a lot of fun, but there's some work involved. A lot of fun, and we still have junk all uh, dye all over the patio out here that somebody not me spilled. Bye.
Hope you're having fun tie-dyeing. Yippee!